Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the value of x cubed plus y cubed. Given that x is equal to 3 plus root 5 over 3 minus root 5, and y is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 3 plus root 5. Now, when faced with a problem like this, you may be tempted to substitute this value for x and this value for y directly into the given expression. But that calculation is going to be very tedious. So in this math tutorial, I'll show you a much easier way of solving such problems. And we are going to begin with the expansion for x plus y cube. When we open this bracket, we have x cube plus 3x squared y plus 3x y squared plus y cube. The next thing we are going to do is to take these two terms over to the left hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have x plus y cube minus 3x squared y minus 3x y squared is equal to x cube plus y cube. Now let us further factorize this. We have x plus y cube. Between these two terms, you have a common factor, which is minus 3xy. Minus 3x squared y divided by minus 3xy is going to give us x. And minus 3xy squared divided by minus 3xy is going to give us plus y. And of course, this is still equal to x cubed plus y cube. Now you can see that we have an expression for x cubed plus y cube in terms of x plus y and x times y. So now we are going to go on and find the value of x plus y and x times y. Now let us add x and y. We have 3 plus root 5 over 3 minus root 5 plus 3 minus root 5 over 3 plus root 5. There's a very simple way of adding fractions. What we do is we multiply this term by this term. Here we have 3 plus root 5 and here we also have 3 plus root 5. This times this is going to give us 3 plus root 5 squared, then plus. Now we multiply this numerator by this denominator. Here we have 3 minus root 5 and here we also have 3 minus root 5. So this times this is going to give us 3 minus root 5 squared over. Now we multiply the two denominators. Here we have 3 minus root 5, and here we have 3 plus root 5. Now remember that when we have a squared minus b squared, that this is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. In this case, we have 3 minus root 5 multiplied by 3 plus root 5. So this product is going to be equal to 3 squared minus root 5 squared. 3 squared is 9 and root 5 squared is 5. And now let us simplify the numerator. Let us open this bracket. We have 3 squared. That of course is 9 plus 2 times 3 times root 5. That is 6 root 5. And then root 5 squared, that is 5. We still have plus. Opening this bracket, we have 3 squared, which is 9, minus 2 times 3 times root 5, that is 6 root 5. 
and we have minus root 5 squared and that is plus 5 and this is divided by 9 minus 5 which of course is equal to 4. Now when you look at this you'll see that plus 6 root 5 is going to take care of minus 6 root 5 leaving us with 9 plus 9 which is equal to 18 plus 5 plus 5 which is equal to 10 that is 18 plus 10 over 4 18 plus 10 is 28 over 4 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7 so we have that x plus y is equal to 7 now the next quantity we need to calculate is x times y but then when you look at x and you look at y, you will see that they are reciprocals. This is 3 plus root 5 over 3 minus root 5. And this is 3 minus root 5 over 3 plus root 5. And of course, when you multiply reciprocals, you get 1. So we have that x times y is equal to 1. Now let us find the value of x cubed plus y cubed. This is going to be x plus y cubed, that is 7 cubed minus 3 times 1 times 7. 7 cubed is 343. 3 times 1 is 3 times 7 is 21. And 343 minus 21 is 322. So we have that the value of x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 322 when x is equal to 3 plus root 5 over 3 minus root 5 and y is equal to 3 minus root 5 over 3 plus root 5. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.